Hello, if you're watching this, it's because you want to learn how to program a game framework using HTML5, Canvas, and JavaScript. It is, uh, it's a little bit different than other languages using JavaScript. Their objects are a little bit weird because they're made out of functions. But um, if you do not know what object-oriented programming is, look it up on YouTube, type in OOP or object-oriented programming get some quick some quick basic concepts behind it and then come back because we're going to be explaining how to create the game framework uh, this considers things like collisions or animations or audio or handling objects and string arrays uh, together and how we how we really uh, handle games and the logic behind games. A lot of it's by, uh, mostly all just logic and understanding how things work. Because a lot of people ask me, well, how did you do that? They're programmers too. It's just that they don't know because they haven't sat down long enough to try and figure it out. So it's basically the logic and the concepts behind the programming more than it is the syntax and the languages themselves. So we'll be diving mostly into that and we'll be dealing with camera movement and stuff like that. So um, this series may be a little long, but it's going to be broken up into a lot of different parts because each part needs its own individual ins uh, description because each part is unique and adds power to the entire framework. And a framework can go on and create engines and all kinds of things, but a basic framework of a game is what you would need to, to start anything that you want and when you have the concepts and understanding of how things work and how to think about things and put things together it just all comes together and just it's exciting and so that's kind of what we'll be coming into we won't be making this game specifically uh, with Mario's and the projectiles and, and this specific audio but we'll be dealing with the collisions and the different things you see kind of going on right here so we'll be working on a different game one that's unique in our own and uh, we will deal with these concepts and cameras and all of the different add, all of the different add-ons that you can make like vector twos and how you can prototype arrays there's just so much to cover and it'll be done in a lot of parts so it'll be nice and easy to take in and you don't have to take it all in at once you can even dissect it and choose parts that you like and use only those so without further ado we'll continue on to the next part so this is just the introduction and I hope you enjoy it